Ponimo con Siumuangalia na kama hakuangalia si unamuondokea hapa Mwambie si uko uhai Mwambie na si useme amen mzuri Amen Na upigie yesu makofi mazuri Amen Amen Salimia jirani yako vizuri mwambie mwaka huu Nita kupenda ushangai Mwambie mwaka huu nitakupenda ushangae. Mwambie mwaka huu nitakuombea sana. Mwambie na kizungu I'll be praying for you. Mwambie in one prayer in your life you will drive Mwambie mwaka huu wewe huu utabahatisha ukiguza kitu it is confirmed Mwambie na ndio uamini nitakuombea Mwambie kuja hapa shika eh mwambie kuja hapa eh mwambie sikuja hapa leta hii mikono ama ukuje nikushike kwa mabega Mwambie kuja ni kuombe mwaka huu hautangangana Nataka ufunue kinywa chako ombea mwenza Kuambia mungu huyu mtu wa singangane Just open your mouth and tell God Huyu mtu wa singangane sana Mambo ya mfanyikie kwa urahisi Kwa sababu wewe ndiye mpaji katika jina la isu Ambia mungu ni naombea huyu Asingangane katika maisha yake Katika familia yake asingangane katika huduma yake asingangane katika maisha ya watoto wake asingangane katika jina la Yesu Kristo may, may the struggle come to an end may the struggles come to an end in the name of Jesus Ambia Mungu ninaombea huyu mtu maisha yake milango yake ifunguke katika jina la Yesu Ambia mungu fungulia huyu nimeshika mikono. Patia ye baraka yake ije haraka katika jina la yesu. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. Son of God, Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit of God, this is our prayer today that our struggle will come to an end. You say that 2024 is our year of harvest. And when you are with us, even in the desert, we shall harvest. Remember us, Jesus Christ. Tusaidie. Maana ulisema utatusaidia. Mwaka huo. In Jesus' name. Let us celebrate Jesus with a crap hand. You can do better than that. Yes. 
makofi mazuri hallelujah amen amen ambia mwenzako nimeanza kukupenda na ndio uamini ninakupenda karibu kiti amen you know the reason into why I love Apostle Ngaruya. Unajua ninampenda sana. Nilimjua kitambo wakati alikuwa anakuja kutuhubiria pale Kameme FM. And the reason I love about him. He loves coping. Anapenda ku copy. Ambia mwenzako coping is healthy. Rafu mwambie coping is better than jealousy. Mwambie kuliko kusikia wivu ukiona kitu kizuri anza ku copy. Praise the name of the Lord. Wakati alikuja JCM Apostle ya kitu ya kwanza ali notice ni the Lord store. Na kaniambia what is it about this store? Nikamwambia kuja ingia uone. Akaniambia kanisa mnauza unga. Nikamwambia hapana. Hiki chote unaona ni chakula cha watu wasiojiweza. Hizi ni wheelchairs za watu hawajiwezi. Hizi ni diapers za watu ambao hawajiwezi. Akaniambia nataka kama hii kitengela. nikamwambia chukua neema ya kwenda kuanza and when the grace is released you don't struggle to find things tukiwa tu hapa hata yule alimuuzia container alipiga simu tukiwa hapa kwa sababu neema ikiachiliwa you don't struggle to achieve what you like praise the name of the lord wakati nilianza the lord song Unajua the best thing when someone begins other people who will follow will not struggle. Nilipigwa vita mingi sana. Kwa sababu nilisema ni wakati wakati wa, wa, wa mchungaji kugawana sadaka na washirika wake. Uwezi kuwa unahubiri hapa mpaka unaongea in tongues. Harafu mshirika mwingine anaenda kulia jioni na amekuachia mia yake. Gawa neni? Aende na 50, ubaki na 50. Kanisa si ya pasta peke yake hata mshirika ni shareholder. Kanisa hufanyika kanisa kwa sababu kuna mtu ameketi kusikiliza. Saa hizi mkitoka nyinyi wote nje nitanyamaza. Kwa hivyo we mimi nahubiri na wewe unasikiliza. Because church the Bible calls church a refuge. Na mahali ambapo unafaa kufikiria utapata msaada kwanza ni ndani ya nyumba ya Mungu kabla uendee wale watu wengine. Katika nyumba ya Mungu hapawahi kukosa maji, mavazi, chakula na kivuli. Ukifungiwa nyumba kabla upate pesa, malaika akuje. Unafaa kuja kulala hapa. Na usiulizwe na mtu hii ni nyumba ya baba yako. Praise the name of the Lord. Nikamwambia the remaining gospel is compassion. I began preaching compassion five years ago when I was in the mainstream church. And this is what I want to tell you Apostle Ngaruya. In the world that we are living in gospel is being termed as scam. People are nicknaming the gospel as fake. But there is one, one thing that will never be changed in him. People can sell water, living waters and living handkerchief or living cups or even living boxers. People can sell all those. But there is one gospel that cannot be diluted, compassionate gospel. Compassion has no other name 
Its name is compassion. It is the only gospel that you touch a soul direct. It is the only gospel that you can see physical results. Hingine hata binguni si nikuambiriwa. Hata binguni nikuambiriwa. Lakini injiri ya huruma na utu. Hiyo ndiyo injiri ambayo inaguza mtu hapo hapo. Sababu kama alikuwa na njaa akishiba analala imemuguza. Hiyo ndiyo injiri. Na mimi hii dunia yote maisha yangu yote si itahubiri kitu kingine. Nitahubiri wokovu wa Yesu Kristo kufa na kuvuvuka, kujazwa na Roho Mtakatifu, msamaha wa dhambi na unga. Praise the name of the Lord. It is the only gospel that you can see physical results. Gospel is about results. When we preach and someone comes here to receive Jesus Christ, that is a physical miracle that can be seen with our eyes. When you touch a life, Na wacha ni kuambie, katika huduma yako hapo Stangaroia. Sasa ndiyo utapata amani. Tunaendana na wewe kwa ofisi yangu na kuambia tuchungulie maana iko na kio. Wewe ukiwa nje hutuoni. Lakini sisi tukiwa ndani tunakuona. Huwa ninatoka na kiti, ninasimama nina keti hapo kwa varanda ya, ya ofisi yangu. Ninaambia hapo Stangaroia keti hapa ni kuonyesha mahali furaha yangu hutoka. Ananiambia nataka kuona hiyo furaha. Tunaketi hapo anakojea furaha ayoni. Harafu kuna ingia nyanya waze. Wanaingia the Lord store. Wanawekewa shopping yao. Wakati wanatoka kwa gate. Nina muambia ndio hiyo furaha yangu. Maybe in your ministry. You never had peace. Maybe where you came. They disturbed your spirit. That store will rebring back the joy of your salvation. Hiyo store itakuleje share furaha ya wakovu wako. Inyue mutu yuke keno kiri agora wonakio. Riri ya JCM dirona atumia akuru. Riri ya dirona aduna wheelchair. Riri ya dirona atumia young mothers nidi. Makege irairi ogona makiumaja ya geti. Jeraga mwalani nehede dratu gata The best thing about the Lord store it does not belong to a human being That is why it is called there Si yako Si umeanza Lord store hapa Kwa gari yetu pale tumekuletea unga mingi Na nimepewa unga ingine na Dama wa Dama Mobile Spares Na yeye akanipatia unga ingine Tukulete. When you begin the Lord store, your work is to just build it. From there, you leave it to the owner. It has the owner, the Lord store. Hiyo siyo yako, na hauta ngangana kuiweka chakula, na hauta kuwa unajua mahali chakula inatoka, maana mwenye hiyo store, ndi empaji. Kazi yako ni kuijenga. The Lord saw ndiyo nyumba peke yake hujipereka. The Lord saw. Saa hizi nimesikia hapa umepewa 1300. Hiyo ni bills zaidi ya juu mimi hununua unga sana. Hizo ni bills zaidi ya 200 na kitu. Mimi ufanya hesabu rahisi. Fanya hesabu rahisi. Na wacha nikwambie sasa muhame haraka. Kwa sababu the Lord saw huja na watu wake. Mufanya haraka muhame hapa. Hata sisi JCM Mungu anatufukuza penye tuko. Kurukisha mwaka haungeona mahali pa kusimama mheshimiwa deputy governor. We had 15,000 people in the church. Mimi nilitoka kwa ofisi yangu nikauliza watu wa protocol mnaniambia niingie kanisa nipite wapi? Kwa sababu watu wameanza kufunguka Macho. 
Wajana na hii jiri ya kuangusha watu hapa. Roho atajiangusia wake. Si wewe umelia hapa? Ni sisi tumekucha hapa? <laughs> si ameria hapa huyu? Ni sisi tumemchapa? Kazi ya roho iwachiwe roho afanye kazi yake lakini kazi ya mchungaji the, the reason into why you are called mchungaji kazi ya mchungaji ni kupeleka kondoo mahali kuna lishe that is the reason into why unaitwa mchungaji kazi ya mchungaji hawa wa masai si ni wachungaji kazi yao ni kuamka asubuhi wanapeleka ngombe mahali kuna lishe na kukikauka kwao unaweza kuta ngombe za mosisho Mombasa. Kwa hivyo unapolisha watu. Kumbuka ya kwamba mambo ya dunia tunasolvia duniani. Wacha kuambia mtu ako na jaa hapa. Inua mikono yako. Tazama milimani mahali mtaada wako hutoka. Ushaona mtu ameshuka Mount Kenya na unga. Kwa sababu watu hawa tunahubiria wana mahitaji and if a priest will shy away from their needs there will be a disconnect between the servant and the followers Praise the name of Jesus Mimi najua hii injili haipendwi inapigwa unaenda kuongea mbele ya wahubiri wanafura lakini biguni sio kwao Biguni sio kwao. Tutahubiri injiri iliyohubiriwa. The Bible says that Christ said, "Cope me." Mimi sio watu navutia na unga. Mm -mm. lakini najua unga huvutia watu. Usicheze na unga. Unga una nguvu. Ndio maana wakati wa campaign huwa mnapangwa, mnapewa na ikikosa mnaimba nemotu nemotu the now we to no motu mukawinira motu no guo wana inerwo Yesu alipohubiria watu akamaliza kumwangalia unajua when you finish with spiritual affairs and matters now the physical hits you hard Yesu akawahubiria akawaambia baba yangu akawaambia nini akawaambia kuhusu roho mtakatifu alafu akawaangalia akaona wote wako na jaa na mtikete hali ya mule hagaeke hii gera gye na kanitha nyu kona ki hado gikaire ugo kanitha ki hini kio kiare na irio jesu akio yake liga kiama akihea dua sio the irio Ado giri dhano makerea na magetigia. Isi yo siyari spiritual. Siyari physical. Praise the name of Jesus. Yesu alipo wapea chakula. Haku wapea chakula spiritual. Alimaliza na spiritual. Akamaliza na physical. Praise the name of the Lord. Alafu Yesu wakasema kwa maandiko. Watakao ni fuata wa nipende. Watafanya zaidi yangu. Na mimi sahi. Tare, tare 23. December. Tulipea siku kuu. Watu elfu kumi na mbili. Kwa hivyo ni kumanisha. Mimi nilie mpenda. Nimefanya zaidi. Yake. Yeah, Lipea watu elfu tano. Mimi nimepea watu elfu kumi. Kwa hivyo ni kumanisha ako pamoja. Na mimi. Sisi tulikuwa tumepanga chakula ya watu elfu mbili. Bai sane kulikuwa na watu elfu kumi na mbili kanisani. Nikaona hapa kimeumana. Nikaita hawa watu wa protocol. Nikawambia kujeni kwa ofisi yangu. Nikaniuliza revu umetuita. Nikabia hee kujeni. Tukai hapa tuchapwe pamoja. Kwa sababu leo wala wakikosa unga tunachapwa. Sisi wote. But I thank God. God, the owner of the Lord's store, will always do a shopping for that store. Wakati chakula ilikosa kabisa nikaona kimeumana nikaona sasa kanisa tutapigwa. Tutapigwa. 
watu wako na njaa tutapigwa nikaanga nikarotoka mahali na parekaga apostol garuya tukachungulia nje tukaona vile kanisa kumejaa watu nilichukua simu yangu nikapigia unajua mtu upigia rafiki yake kapigia uhuru kenyata simuliona ama mnafikiri ni uongo simuliona nikampigia nikamwambia hapa nikubaye nisaidie kama rafiki yangu kaniambia hao watu wote wapewe siku kuu ninakutumia gari saa hii kuletea milioni moja. praise the name of the lord nikatumana unga kila mtu aliyekuwa hapo hakuna kwa kwa kwa, kwa mtu siku kuu haikunuka na tulikuwa tunapeana unga ya ngano na mchele na mafuta hakuna mtu hakubeba why when you build the owner takes over kazi yetu ni kujenga halafu mwenyewe achukue kutoka hapo na kwa sababu mmejenga the lord the owner of the store will take over praise the name of the lord kuna kitu mimi hufunza ninaambia watu amen Karibu sana mheshimiwa. Amen. Niliambia unajua I love speaking vitu ambavyo vinaeleweka. Kwa sababu roho yangu my heart bleed wakati ninaona mtu ako na shida. Kama kuna kitu hunisumbua ni wakati ninaona mtu anasumbuka kwa sababu kanisani mnafikiriaga wa sometimes people are crying because they love god kuna mwingine huria kwa sababu wako na njaa praise the name of the lord unaona watu wameinama wanalia machozi unafikiria ni lile neno unaweza Yesu Kristo oyire lakini huyo mtu kwa roho anajiuliza nikimaliza ibada watoto wamenigonja nyumbani nitaenda kuwapatia nini na hata kulala tulilala njaa that is the reason into why i started the lord store and i am so happy to see the lord store cruising all over the nation kuna ingine tunaenda kufungua nilikuwa naonyesha apostle ngaloia kuna the lord store tunaenda kufungua pale kanisa la AIC limeanza pale mangi pale Lari pale panachomagwa mahindi ukiende nakuru kuna kanisa la AIC lilifungua the lord store hapo kuna ile nilifungua nakuru kwa bishop ben nganga sasa nimekuja kufungua hii na mimi ninajua out of this one kuna zingine zinajengwa hapa nchini na sisi hakuna kanisa letu halina the lord store mpaka narok nilikuwa huko unajua nilichukua makao makao ni mchungaji wetu wa JCM Narok Nilienda huko juzi na nikamfungulia the Lord store in Nyahururu we have a Lord store in Mtwapa tuko na Lord store hakuna mahali kanisa la JCM litawahi simama pakose the Lord store hata heri tukose kuhubiri injili ingine tukifika mbinguni hamtaulizwa mambo mengi kwa sababu mnafanya bidii sana ili mfike mbinguni lakini tukifika kule maandiko yanasema tutaulizwa maswali very easy nilikuja nikiwa na njaa nilikuja nikiwa na kiu nilikuja nikiwa uchi hayo ndio mambo utaulizwa praise the name of the lord kuna kuna injiri tunaruka na ndio injiri ya Yesu Kristo the compassionate gospel compassion was the gospel of Jesus whatever that driven Jesus was compassion alikuwa anaenda anaangalia mtu hivi anamhurumia mpaka yule aliitana akiwa kipofu alitumia majina gani Yesu mwana wa Daudi unihurumie have compassion on me compassion is the gospel of Jesus Christ praise the name of the lord sasa wacha niwaambie kitu kingine. Kama kuna watu wamebahatika ni watu wa hili kanisa. 
kule kwetu JCM Taith yetu yote huenda the Lord so Hata mtasaidia huyu kupata ufalme wa mbinguni Kwa sababu tumekuwa tukichukua pesa ya Mungu tunaweka kwa tumbo zetu Ndio unaona mchungaji anakaa akiwa maridadi miaka 2 miaka 3 halafu mnamkuta na washirika wanne kwa sababu hata Mungu tunayehubiri hapendi ujinga Tunachukua chakula ya Mungu na kutishia hawa washirika tunachukua tunaweka kwa tumbo lakini nikihubiri hivi unafikiri kuna wachungaji wangapi saa hizi wameangalia live hivi wanasema giki kiaragi ya tayari Kwa sababu when you have the Lord store and that is what I want us to read in the book of Malachi 3:10. Nilisikia mtu mwingine akiuliza tithe ni ya nani? Unajua kuna watu wengine hutoa tithe hapa, wanafikiria tithe ndio itafanya mfike mbinguni. Waja ni kuwafundisha kitu kimoja. Tithe is not your fare to heaven. Even if you give out a million and you still go on sinning, you will not see Jesus. Tithe is a command from God. Kwa hivyo ni kumaanisha tithe it's God's money. Ama mnafikiria kama mkileta hapa tunapatia Mungu. Ni nyinyi nauliza. Mnafikiria kama tithe tunapatia Mungu. Tumtoe wapi tumpe pesa yake? Ni nyinyi nauliza. Huwa muna, oh mnaambia kwa tithe ni pesa ya Mungu. Tithe ni pesa ya kutumika hapa. Na tithe it is a measure of your faithfulness to God. And it is the opener of windows of heaven where blessings comes from. Hiyo ndio ukufungulia milango na dirisha za binguni. Lakini hatupendi kuwafundisha sana kuhusu Malachi 3:10 hatutakangi kuisoma yote ndio kasisi asikose suti hii ndio kasisi asikose kazi mzuri ndio kasisi asikose gari mzuri but wakati utafanya vile inafaa na fungu la kumi Mungu ufungua baraka zake hata hujuagi mahali anakutolea msaada Ambia mwenzako doing the right thing Malachi 3:10 Umefungua hapo? Eh. Nani yako na nani yako na na, na Mike? Asome ndio mseme ni Biblia yangu inasema. Ili niwafunze kitu. And that is what I want to teach you about tithing for the Lord's store. Praise the name of the Lord. Na acha nikwambie Apostle Karuya be ready. Si wewe ulikuja kwangu kaona the Lord's store ukaniambia nikuje nikufungulie. Sasa jiandae kufungua zingine hii laini yote kwa sababu atakaye ona atavipenda because the bible says it is the lord's and god's doings and it is beautiful in our eyes kwa hivyo atakaye ona the lord so itafurahisha macho yake nani yako na microphone asome soma eh soma ndio hao wasiseme ni biblia yangu inasema hivyo mara ka 310 mhm inasema hivi eh uh-huh. Bring the whole tithe. Sikiliza. Maandiko ya mnaeleza vizuri sana. Kwa hivyo kama uleti tithe yote, tafadhali ondoa wizi katika kanisa. This is a God command. Huyu ni Mungu anasema, leteni zaka zote. Sikiliza. Eh, rudia, bring bring the whole tithe. Bring the whole tithe. Unajua Mungu Wakati alikuwa anaongea haya yeye alifikiria kanisa liko na watu waaminifu. Hakuna mahali wizi umejaa kama hapa tuko. Najua mimi napenda kuongea ukweli sababu ukweli ndio huniweka huru. Na mimi nitafikishwa mbinguni na kuongea. Hakuna wizi kama ulio kanisani. Mnasema serikali. Nyinyi hata si wakora. Ukora uko wapi? kanisani ati unakuta mtoto wa wa, wa, wa bishop hmm? anaendaka group of schools lakini washirika watoto wao huenda school as a group <laughs> hala 
ambavyo unasikia right now mimi niko na watoto 36 in secondary schools niko na watoto wanne university na hakuna mtoto wangu hapo ni watoto wa shirika mtoto mshirika wangu mtoto wake hawezi pata marks 400 Halafu huyo mtoto aperekwe day school kwa sababu wazazi hawana uwezo. Kanisa litamsomesha by fire by might. Sasa kanisa letu hii form 4 ilifanywa. Tuko na B, B4. Tuko na C+ ngapi? Dongo. C+ sita. D ni tatu. Praise the name of Jesus. Sisi basi yetu ikirudisha watoto shule unaweza fikiria hiyo ndio na tuko na mwanafunzi baka Mangu High School under JCM hauwezi hakuna vile naweza kosa kusomesha mtoto na hako na max 400 halafu munione nikiendesha V8 huo ni wizi in the name of Jesus na mimi sitaki kuwa mwizi kupitia jina la Mungu Unapata mshirika kanisa limejaa mpaka huko. Kanisa linanunua mabasi lakini kuna mshirika anauza shamba akatibiwe. Wizi kupitia jina la Yesu. Huo wizi ninasema in this generation kama sisi ndiyo tunaleta revival huo utakoma. Praise the name of Jesus. Huo utafanya nini? Huo utakoma. Kanisa letu halitawahi nunua lori kama tuko na mgonjwa hapo. Shughulikia huyo kwanza. Kuna vitu zingine sio za kiroho. Mambo mengine unashughulikia kimwili kwa sababu tuko katika Hebu imagine mtu aletwa hapa amevunjika na pikipiki. Amevunjika mguu. Halafu Apostle Ngaroya ateremke hapa ati mwekeni hapa. Rima koto riba ko riba shanta raba. Hiyo ni ujinga huwezi ponywa mguu kuvunjika na ndimi ni uende kanisa ufungwe prasa hata wewe uache uchinga wa kiroho hakuna siku utaambia mtu akona jana watoto wake wamesimama hapa wanakwambia pasta sisi tumelala jana watoto wangu unawaambia riba koto rima shanda hekeni guza mahali pako na njaa alafu ati sasa ujiset hapa uelekeze power yako hapo wewe ni pasta mjinga sana hakuna siku mtu atashibishwa na muujiza kama ni chakula cha tumbo patia mtu chakula ashibe hiyo ingine mu discuss praise the name of jesus Amen. physical problems are tackled physically spiritual <laughs> affairs are tackled spiritually eh? ni kama mtu anakuja hapa dugu anakwambia pasha ninataka tuombe mchungaji ninataka tuombe akituombe dugu shida ni gani niko na miaka 38 ohoi na sijapata bibi mchungaji waacha ujinga msichana hatafutu kwa maombi kwenda huko ije ongeresha mtu mimi huwezi nipigisha magoti hapa uniambie twende fasting ukaoe Tito fast ndio nioe. Mi ni ofastidie. Ni ndo araha si aku. Unanipeleka fasting juu yale mambo yatakuja kukufurahisha baadaye. Wasijana wamejaa hapa ongeresha mmoja ukikataliwa ukatalike uende kwa mwingine paka atakapo kukubali. Vitu zingine si za kuombea. Praise the name of Jesus tunakuta mtu amelala hapa ati anaambia Mungu nifanyie nifanyie kuna zile vitu za Mungu kufanya na kuna zako ujifanyie ti pasta niombe ninahitaji mume pasta ninafikisha miaka 40 miaka 40 ukifanya nini duniani na hauna mkia na pembe miaka 40 halafu niambie twende fasting tuombe vitu zitakuja kukufurahisha we mwenyewe kuna vitu siwezi ombea Praise the name of Jesus. A church should come with a solution. This is a place of solutions. Kanisa ni mahali pa kusuruhisha shida. Na kama kanisa letu likifungwa Sunday, 
huwa linafunguliwa Sunday that is not a church that is a gathering a church should be opened 24 hours hii ni hospitali hii ni hospitali hii ukikuja huko bypass mimi nimejitolea Mungu sana mwaka huu by next month nitakuwa nimenunua fire extinguisher kwa sababu sio kusema juu tumeokoka nyumba haitaungua na nyumba zikiungua hazita hazita poeshwa na maombi hata baba mshikaji wa moto ninaobea nyumba hii tulie moto fire nyumba hupoeshwa na fire extinguisher ikiwa na maji are we together kanisa haifai kukosa fire extinguisher ambulance basi ya kupea wananchi unajua sometimes sisi husubua serikali bure na kanisa iko na uwezo unaona pastor amesimama pale mbele tulikuwa na shida hapa dada yetu mmoja hapa alishikika kupata mtoto tukajaribu kutafuta ambulance ikakosa na ako na pesa kwani washirika wako sio watu kuwa wameokoka haijawaondoa katika shida za kibinadamu za kila siku sio kusema juu umeokoka ati wewe utaenda pale Sanford Nairobi uanze kukula kuku ikiwa kwa kio tiju umeokoka unaongeaga na dimi umejaza na roho mtakatifu ati uangalie kio uanze kufanya kuku nusu by fire by mighty kuku nusu tunatingiza mkono jiweke chumvi weka chumvi weka chumvi haya jifunge chips 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 sasa kujeni by fire by utashikwa na kaja ugoro kile kuokoka haijakuondoa katika zile shida upitiwa kila siku ukitaka chakula kama wale watu wengine toa pesa mfuko ufanya nini ununue unajua the christians the problem with the christian church today ni kubehave kama mungu wetu ni mganga wakristo wamebakisha kidogo sana kuingia pale wakiwa uchi karibu sasa waingie na kinyume nyume hivi because they are behaving like they are god is a witch doctor god is not a witch doctor no we believe in his miracles but we have to do our part at unainama hapa unapiga magoti hapa mungu ninakuomba natukubaliana na wewe <laughs> nikiaipika ni wewe umeaipika hiyo maombi muache gayo menya dasho no kane wewe washo no ka da to one wewe wa hoto leu le Ulela kai mosho noke ha mwana ni wota le thamba mwiri. Unaambia Mungu ati ukiaibika ni yeye ameaibika na ni wewe hauogi mwiri. So unafikiri ukinuka Mungu amenuka. Wacheni kubebesha Mungu mizigo mingine. Ati Mungu hujue hapa. Ile vita imenigojea nje nikishindwa ni wewe umeshindwa na ni wewe umemwaga maji ya wenyewe kwa kwa tap na mtungi utapigwa bado kama umeokoka utapigwa our god is not a witchcraft is not a witch doctor he does not use witchcraft to perform his miracles by faith things happens by actions things are achieved praise the name of the lord tunahara hapa wiki nzima mungu ninaomba Mwaka huu usinieke katika aibu. Ninaomba hivi Mungu nikiamka hapa kwa magoti. Nijipate na gari. Okay, imechotwa nani upewe? Ni wewe nauliza. Juu unapea Mungu conditions ati ukiamka kwa magoti ujipate na gari. Gari hununuliwa showroom. Fanya kazi. Wa Kristo wacheni uzembe utajiri hupatikana kwa vitu vitatu aidha uliachiwa aidha umeiba ama umefanya kazi kwa bidii praise the name of the lord ti mungu ninaomba by fire by mighty hii mwaka hii wiki hii inakuja mungu nipate gorofa kitengera ya plaza we wacha kusumbua mungu Apostle Ngaruya wa shirika wako kama sio the Lord so hawezi sibishwa na muujiza 
Atifanyeni hivi sasa. Nataka kuwaombea muende nyumbani. Fanyeni hivi niombe Mungu muujiza uingie katika tumbo zenu. Kati mnaweka mikono hivi ndio sasa tumbo itoke. Ati Mungu baba wa shirika wangu wanaenda nyumbani. Katika tumbo zao naweka nyama choma. Katika tumbo zao nimeweka soda baridi. Katika tumbo zao nimeweka kuku. Nani hakuragi nyama niweke mboga. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Are we together? Unajua watu huulizana nafaa kupeleka wapi fungu la kumi. and this is not an argument it is in the bible wapi anayesoma kuja usimame hapa wajue unasoma biblia hapa ikifika ni tithing hakuna kusumbu hata sijui kwa nini wa, wachungaji hungangana kufunza giving stop teaching so hard about giving Unakuta unahubiri service mzima about giving but I hubiri kuhusu kuokoka mtu atoke kwa shetani. Giving should come automatically from a willing soul. Na kwa nini watu wanakataa kupeana kanisani? Wanakataa kupeana kwa sababu wakipeana hawaoni inako kwenda. Kanisa ukipata ukiwa na mikakati ya kufanya mambo, hawa watu you don't force people. Sisi kwetu JCM ukisema fungu la 10 iletwe kila mtu usimama. Kwa sababu wanajua mahali pesa zao zinaenda. Na fungu la kumi ni pesa za kuuza moyo wanaehitaji. Soma vizuri. Uh-huh. Bring all tithes into the storehouse. Sikiliza vizuri. Nataka usikize kwa makini. Bring all tithes into what? Storehouse. Into the storehouse. Sio into the pastor's stomach. Sio into the bishop's bank. No. Bring all tithes into the storehouse. Hii ni Biblia hatubishani. Uamini usiamini. Ubishane hata kwa mtandao usibishane. Ha, ama mmesikia nikisoma Pastor Ben 3 verses 10. Tunasoma Malachi 3 Ten. Either ubishane usibishane Tunasoma biblia ambayo unaamini Bring all tithes into the storehouse Is this a storehouse? This is a what? The bible says And my house shall be called a house of prayer This is not a storehouse Every church should have a storehouse outside the church Mimi hii kama haijai kukuingia mimi niliingia na nikafanya jinsi Mungu anasema Sikiliza Bring all Hebu soma wewe na nitakupiga Bring the whole tithe Hebu bring the whole tithe Bring the whole tithe in the, into the storehouse into the storehouse Where is the storehouse here Siko nje Haya sasa sikiliza vizuri ndio ushike hapa nitawafunza hii iwaingie kama dawa utakuwa unajiangalia kanisa zingine hivi watu wakiibiwa unasema huu Mungu awafungue wakati nilihubiria bishop wenu huyu alikuja JCM tukakaa chini akaniambia hebu nifunze kuhusu the Lord store iko kwa bible gani nikamwambia sigaruya si umeishi kusoma hiyo verse akaniuliza gani nikamwambia mala kaidri verse ten akaniambia hapana si nime nasomaga nikamwambia sasa shika biblia yako tusome pole pole nikamfunza pole pole akaniambia oh ni kushika sijawahi sasa sikiliza mahali fungu la kumi linafaa kupelekwa rudia ndio bishop wako asikie mara ya sita Bring the whole tithe. Bring the whole tithe into the storehouse. Into the storehouse that that there may, may be food. Sikiliza. In my house. Sikiliza. Sikiliza vizuri. Fungu la 10 linakununua chakula. That there may be food in my house. Kumetajwa storehouse na kukatajwa mae ama mnafikiri ni biblia yake mtoe yenu sikiliza vizuri that there may be food 
in my house. This is God who is commanding a human being. Anamwambia, bring all tithes into the storehouse that there may be food in my house. Umeaza kushika vizuri? Ama uzomewa na kiswahili? Nani akona shida ya kushika kizungu? Ndiyo nataka ikuingie. Ya kuomba leteni sadaka na fungu zenu katika gala. Hili ni gala? Mumejenga gala? Hapo ndiyo fungu la kumi linafaa kuenda. Hili katika nyumba ya mungu kuwe na chakula cha kutosha. Ukiingia kanisa upate hakuna chakula. Kuna shida. Ukiingia kanisani upate kuna kanisa haina chakula kuna shida na uko na uwezo wa kuuliza swali mumeniambia hapa hakuna pasta huwa unapeleka wapi fungu la kumi. nilisikia mchungaji mwingine akisema fungu la kumi ni mshahara wa wa pastors ni uongo nyinyi ndio mnafaa kuweka mchungaji wenu vizuri kama mnataka najua sio lazima lakini fungu la kumi, si ni haya maandiko yanasema. Nani yako na ya Kiswahili? Ili watu wote waelewe vile ninasema. Kwa sababu tukifunza kuhusu fungu la kumi, a lot of people huwa wanatuingilia sana. Kwa sababu hawataki watu wafunguke macho kuhusu fungu la la kumi. Na ni vizuri wachungaji, hata wale tuko nao hapa, jifunzeni kufanya kazi kwa mikono yenu. Hawa washirika ni watu hatari sana. Ndiyo maana mimi huamuka mimi huamuka saa tisa. Siwa mnanisikiza kwa redio saa sa, sa kumina mbili. Mimi huamuka saa tisa. Kwa nini mimi huenda kufanya kazi kwa mikono yangu? Kwa sababu ninajua hawa wa shirika. Ukitegemea hawa, utakuwa their slave. Hawa, watakuwa na kufanyisha maibada zikine, unaombea baka ubu wa zabeikari. Hawa. Pasta. Hello. Uko wapi pasta? Kwa sababu wewe tegemeo lako umeweka kwa hawa ugetweka tibetaki raya maguteithie ugotweka gobo yao mm, ulitaka kinya ni itoga ukahore guizia mafura breki <laughs> pasta hena ngui ndira gurire South Africa yi ndira megurire ngiri magana matatu yi ni gwenda gerutiro igongo nari ya kwamukirwo Kenya todu nibe Wamo nilie ni umaro lete iguru. Ukorake ya posto mugi matawe. Uhuje tia graduation ya mwana wa pipi tu. <laughs> Aya. Dile uwa ne uru. Nowe na uhuje ya nini amu wakotu mama mawira mariko. Ule ruti dhagi yo mawira moru. We. Todo uro lete ya iguru. We korake duka ine ya wadada. Uru kwa metebele ya abura. Ukiamura okay, aduka, papa, tuke eno mwadhani, ni anguo, siya dhini. Gaya barali, oe, oe, kona mawira ini moru munu. Fanya kazi kwa mikono yako mchungaji. When you have your own money, even your followers will respect you. Yes, mimi nikona mshara. Watoe sadaka wasitoe, mimi niko. Nikanisa yao itakatu wa stima na maji. Sio mimi, sio kwangu. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord stop. Is what I'm talking about. Dio mahali unafaa kama kasisi. Kupereka fungu la kumi la hawa watu. Dio kama katika hili kanisa kuna mjane. Anaenda hapo. Kama kuna watoto ya atima. Wanaingia hapo. Kama kuna mfanyi kazi wa mjengo. Na ameenda foreman haa kukuja jioni. Anapita hapo. Anapatiwa unga gabi. Na ni kufunze. Kwa sababu kwetu inafanyika. Na unajua kwetu hujawa ingia Lord Store unakosa chakula. Mafuta, mchele, chumvi, viazi, boga. Kwa sababu huwa tumewafunza. Leo tumekupea kwa sababu hauna. Na wewe kesho ukipata. Ulete. Ile Lord.
God store si akupea chakula mtu aishi maisha yake yote that Lord store is for restoring hope to these people inawapea matumaini ya kwamba leo nimegonga mwamba na wacha nikwambie wale watu wanatutazama hata kwa TV JCM TV usiwahi jipiga kifua kwa sababu uko na mali hata wenye mali hujipata wamekosa eh unajua wale watu wako na pesa tukiongea haya mambo wanaonaka kama ni ujinga ndio unaona makanisa mengine kuna makanisa yanapiga the road so vibaya sana kwa sababu wote huenda kama wame drive sisi tuko na washirika ambao hawajiwezi na lazima waingie katika moyo wetu na wacha nikwambie nimekuambia ujiandae na ujitayarishe ile Lord store inakujaga na watu wake iko na watu wake eh utashtuka sana hata sio washirika wako watakuwa nakujia chakula ukienda kwetu JCM chakula juu kwa sababu tunafunguaga saa kumi na, mbo, na, 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 na five zangapi saa kumi na moja mpaka saa mbili ya usiku sisi ufungua the Lord's to hayo masaa. Halafu tumejenga kisiagi. Una huyu anajua ndio unasikia akisema kuhusu kisiagi. Ana copy kila kitu yetu. <laughs> Hiyo posho meal tunakuwaga tumeiweka hapo kwa sababu kuna watu wengine wako na mahindi lakini hawana pesa. So huwa tunasiagia mtu kama uko na 50 bob na uko na gorogoro mbili. Hiyo 50 bob tunakwambia enda ununue mboga. Kanisa inasimamia stima Praise the name of the Lord. Kwa sababu mimi sio mchungaji mjinga. Nimepitia shida. Ninajua shida ni kusema nini. Ninajua kulala njaa ni kusema nini. And that is why I decided hakuna mshirika wa JCM atawahi lala njaa na yeye hutoa fungu na sadaka. Maandiko yamesema vizuri. Sasa wacha nikufunze kitu. Utakapotii sheria ya Mungu kuhusu fungu la kumi, ni nini kinafanyika? Soma hapo kwa Kiswahili. Soma kwanza kwa Kiswahili pale kuhusu fungu la kumi. Inasema hivi, uh -huh. leteni za, zaka kamili gadani. L leteni zaka kamili. Sikiliza hapa. Ujue uh -huh. your faithfulness is being tested by God through this. Na ndio unasikia ana insist kamili juu wengi wetu niwezi. Unaingia mvuko, unatoa tu ile pesa kwanza nyinyi matajiri hapa mko na pesa. Hata hamjogi fungu lenu la kumi ni pesa ngapi? Alafu unaangalia pasta hivi na umegonga deal ya milioni kumi. Ukiangalia pasta wenu hivi unaona hafai kupewa milioni moja. Ndio unaona pasta mwingine anahubiria matajiri. Wanajenga magorofa lakini kanisa lake na yeye ni maskini. Kwa sababu akiangalia hivi anaona amegonga deal ya milioni ishirini. Fungu la kumi ni pesa ngapi? Ukiangalia pasta wenu hivi <laughs> Anaendeshaka die hustle. Zile Suzuki zilikuwaga za veti na lewa kitambo. Ukimwangalia hivi unaona hai, mimi siwezi kupatia milioni mbili. Hapana siwezi. Sio mchungaji unapatia. It is not about the past. It is your faithfulness that is being tested by God. Niwaulize swali moja. Mnataka kuniambia hii Kenya hakuna mtu utengeneza milioni mia moja? Ako Milioni miya moja, fungu na kumi ni pesa ngapi? Sini milioni kumi. Niyabia ni mtubu gani huyo? Unaona kipereka? <laughs> milioni kumi karo yorero ha. Watu niwezi. Ushawa isikia mtu natuwa fungu na kumi la milioni miya bili, hako na milioni mbili. Tulisikia mama mwingine juzi, ameshikiwa mafuta na serikali. Ati mafuta hake sijui meenda. Ulisikia yu mafuta ilikuwa pesa ngapi? Seventeen? Seventeen billion. Kwa hivyo anafaa kutoa fungu la 10 la pesa ngapi? <laughs> 1.7 billion. Unafikiria anaweza? Atatonya hara na 1.7 billion. Anayana kanitha hawezi. Haki ya Mungu hawezi. Na masikini, wale watu ambao ni masikini wataupata ufalme wa mbinguni haraka sana. Ndio maana unasikia Biblia inasema masikini anaweza ingia mbinguni lakini tajiri ni kama kuingia tu ndio shidani. Kwa sababu hawa watu ni waaminifu sana. Mtu ako na elfu kumi, anakuanga mwaminifu sana. Jua naangalia naona 10% ni elfu. Na unajua Mungu huitisha pesa kidogo sana. 10 only 
percent. 90% anakuachia. Lakini huwezi sikia. Siulize hata hao waheshimiwa. Waulize. Ukweli wa mambo. Mheshimiwa topika unataka kuniambia nyinyi na mshishi hamjawahi kuza milioni 20? Ushawahi chukua mbili zikiwa cash ukapeleka kama umenyamaza kwa chondo <laughs> kwa chondo za fungu la 10 ujue 10% is a measure of faithfulness from god na ndio unasikia anasema leta ebu soma vizuri tusikie mahali fungu la 10 linafaa kwenda leteni zaka kamili galani leteni zaka kamili galani the store gala si kanizani sio hapa ndani hii si gala hii ni nyumba ya maombi this is my house as say the lord and my house shall be called a house of prayer this is not a store praise the name of jesus halafu hapo anasema nini ukipeleka fungu la 10 katika gala ili kiwemo chakula katika nyumba yangu ili kiwemo chakula katika hii nyumba so when you have a store there automatically there is food in this now after that command now comes a leeway to blessings anasema ukiwa mwaminifu na hivyo nimesema ehe mkinijaribu kwa njia hiyo hebu sikiliza you know you don't try people unajua watu kama hawa wana siasa they are powerful people you cannot try them huwezi ukitaka kujua mosisho akitoka pale enda usimame mbele ya gari yake na ukatalie hapo kuna mahali utaguzwa na utaenda haraka nyumbani <laughs> kuna mahali hawa wale polisi hulinda hawa hata hawakufuzwa mambo mengi lakini kuna mahali wanaingizaga mkono kwa bavu unasikia kuna kajia hapo na ukishikwa hivi kuna lock mtu huwekwa na unakaa 2 hours ukifanya hivi kwa sababu you cannot try them but God Almighty has given you a chance to try him. God has given you an opportunity to try him. Mungu anasema sasa nijaribu. Anasema nijaribu hivyo. Ehe. Asema Bwana wa majeshi. Mungu anasema ukitimiza hivyo ni mimi unajaribu. Ehe. Mjue kama sitawafungulia madirisha ya binguni. Mkifanya vile nimesema nitawafungulia madirisha ya binguni na kuamwagieni baraka na hebu sikiliza nyinyi huambia Mungu Mungu ninakuomba niwekee baraka katika mkono wangu hapana Mungu ni kumwaga baraka anasema ati hebu rudia hapo mjue kama sitawafungulia madirisha ya binguni mjue kama sitawafungulia madirisha ya binguni na kuamwagia baraka alafu niwamwagie baraka hata isiwe nafasi ya kutosha au la mpaka katika maisha yenu mkose nafasi ya kuweka hiyo baraka kuanzia leo change maombi yako ambia Mungu ni mwagie baraka kwanza ya kizungu inasema flood eh? soma kizungu inasema hivi eh? says the lord almighty eh? and see if i will not thrown open flood gates of heaven and see if i will not open flood gates of heaven and pour out so much blessings and pour out so much blessings nataka niwaulize swali wakati sisi huingia hapa huja kutafuta nini no simuongee simko na the road sto mtapewa unga mkipata njaa huwa tunakuja hapa kutafuta nini baraka si ndio lakini ushawahi kufikiria baraka hupitia hapo Mungu naomba unibariki mpaka unajishika west hapa ukangadheri ya gai umwela ke kinya dogiuma ndingiuma ha ha na dohea na gishuje no ni rangadheri ya origina ke gai kinya koguru dakwero ndingiuma ha ha utanda vimete na we moishi wa gishuje na noi kwa kula yadi mosika hata Hapa mtu mmoja ainua mkono Hapa 
mtu mmoja ainue mkono mwenye leo amechukua simu yake akapigia mama yake akamwambia mamu, nakupenda ulifanya vizuri kunizaa mamu, i love you so much angalia simu yako mama akiangalia aone hata sio pesa mingi giri giri na uko hapa ndingiuma if you live a compassionate lifestyle blessings becomes evident sasa mtu kama mimi ukiniuliza nani angefikiria wakati kama huu ningekuwa askofu hako na hizo kanisa zote nchini nani angefikiria but compassion has made it easier for me kile kilifanya Yesu akubalike ni compassion Praise the name of the Lord. Maana sisi wote tulikuwa tunasema hali ya hode jeswadhiaga. Duki kawega utali nadha. Hauwezi tenda mema kama hauna huruma. Compassion itakupeleka mahali masomo haijawahi. <laughs> Mimi compassion nimenifunza paka kizungu. Siku anajua kizungu. Ulikuwa unaniuliza are you pastor Ben? Yes I are. You will say hi to your family, won't you? Yes, won't me. <laughs> Compassion will make you sit with people who are who in this nation. Mimi wakati nilipigia uhuru Kenya na simu yangu akachukua, nilisema, "Guy, yani compassion imefanya former president anichukulie simu na anitumie milioni moja nipatie watu siku kuu." Unajua siku anaamini. Mimi baka wakati zilifika zikaletwa na mtu anaitwa Anderson akaniletea zikiwa kwa bahasha milioni moja. Na sasa compassion inakufanyaka uwe faithful by fire. You must be faithful. Ju hiyo simu nilipiga tuliwekaga microphone hapa. Kwa hivyo kila mtu alikuwa hiyo kanisa alijua kuna pesa ngapi zimepeanwa. Sasa ilipidi nipige simu kwa Bansora Milas nikamwambia tuwekeeni unga ya 1 million kwa sababu ni zao compassion pesa sio zako ngaruia umejenga the lord store sasa kile kimebaki ni uaminifu wako kupeleka fungu la kumi hapo utakuwa unaona na kiatu imeinama hivi na the lord store imejaa na hakuna kitu utafanya kwa sababu uaminifu wako ndio utakuletea baraka that is why watu wanauliza na JCM inatoa watu watu ni uaminifu faithfulness na mimi wacha nikwambie hakuna siku nitakuwa na shida. Dugitaidia mtu na yoge thina. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Why do I preach compassion? Kwa nini ninaambukiza watu tuhubiri injiri ya huruma na utu? Kwa sababu hiyo ndiyo injiri peke yake ambayo haiwezi pakwa matope. Hii injiri nyingine inapakwa matope hata inakosa kuaminika let me tell you garuya leo hata ukiponya kiwete hapa watu watasema ni uongo <laughs> hata kiwete kichukue miti hapa watu watasema ni uongo lakini ukivisha mtu alikuwa na nguo mzee utoke pale nje umnunulie nguo mpya na kiatu hiyo ni muujiza ambao umeonekana kwa macho compassion is the only gospel that cannot be diluted Juzi kule kwetu kanisani ulikuwa ukuje sijui ulienda nje kuna mzee kanisani kwetu yuko na kansa si mlimuona kama huu kuona useme tuko nyumbani mwa baba si mliona huyo mzee ako na kansa na ako na watoto wawili wako na cerebral palsy na ni mshirika wangu na ni dereva wa matatu So a story came. Yule mzee huwa anapenda hata leo sijui kwa nini sikukuja na yeye. Huwa simwachi because he is a testimony. Yeye ni dereva wa matatu. Story kanifikia. Kama mabasi zimekimbia rashawa. Yeye hubeba town kuita kwa Gumba Estate, matatu za huko. Akiwa katikati ya barabara macho ikapotea. Na ni rashawa. Gari ikasimama 
na nirashawa gari zinapita hivi kab- karibu wa uwe wa, 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 watu akaulizwa na, na abiria ni nini wewe mzee akawaambia mimi nakuaga na kansa na niko na watoto wawili wale mavu na sisi wote tunakunywa dawa so ile pesa nilipata niliona mimi nikae bila dawa nikanunulia watoto kwanza matatu yote wakashikana wakachangia dereva wa hiyo matatu sasa hiyo story ikaletwa kuletwa ni mshirika wangu nikasema nataka kujua kwake nikaenda kwake mweki bahati mzuri nikapata ndio hao watoto wanarudishwa kwa nyumba wako kwa hili cha hawezi tembea wanafungiliwa kamba from that floor inafungwa wheelchair na wheelchair wanavutwa na neighbors wanaingishwa kwao kanyumba ka one bedroom machozi ikanitoka kwa sababu kama huwezi ona mtu ako na, na shida machozi itoke wewe hata ufalme wa mbinguni kuona mungu apende watu wamekauka biblia daudi alisema niumbie moyo mpya moyo wa kunyenyekea mungu upenda watu ambao hubondeka Usipenda wale watu wanasema kama mimi naona kanisa watu wakilia na shida ni upusi gani wako nayo. Mimi mimi hiyo ujinga siwezi fanya. Mimi ni mwanaume siwezi lia. Mpaka mkiomba amekaa hivi. Nyinyi wote mmezama mko in tanks wengine wanaita Yesu, wengine machozi inatiririka hapa yeye amesimama hivi. Ulimosho dikiru ta wako ndani. Eti ya kauli modela ta ni dikira ta modomoka. Huyo mtu hata ufalme wa mbinguni kupata. Atakao amekaukiwa tu hivyo. Praise the name of the Lord wakati machozi ni nitoka nikauliza Mungu what can i do as a servant of god kwa sababu acha nikwambie apostle ngaruya tukifika binguni hautaambiwa welcome apostle hautaambiwa welcome bishop hautaambiwa welcome doctor utaambiwa welcome my faithful servant and as we are waiting for jesus to come back you just do what waiters do they serve praise the name of the lord nikaambia mungu how and what can i do to change this life nikaongea na washirika wangu they know my heart nikawaambia na nikawaonyesha uzuri nilifanya video ya si mnajua na kuana kipindi kameme tv ya kusaidiana saturday and sunday nikaweka kipindi hapo wakati niliweka kipindi one hour tulikuwa tumepata 2 million 2 million tukapata pesa yake ya dawa ya watoto na ya kumsukuma nikaongea na washirika nikawauliza what can we do tukaenda washirika tukashikana tukanunua shamba pale mala na tukamjengea three bedroom nikaambia Mungu usiwahi kubali tena hao watoto wasukumwe kutoka kwa gorofa wacha wakae kwao mahali wanasukuma gari hivi wanakaa hapo nje hata watoto wa hiyo proti walikuwa wanasema hawawezi cheza na, na viwete huyo mzee tulimfungulia tulimpatia hiyo nyumba tarehe kumi na mbili. siku ya ya sherehe tukapa pale kanisa tukachinja tuka celebrate tukafungua nyumba tukampatia huyo mzee ukimwangalia saa hii ameanza kunona compassion heals people if you cannot heal people through miracles heal them through compassion sande hii wale utazama JCM mimi najua nyinyi wote ni wa JCM ni vile mnashiriki hapa si hata yeye ni wa JCM si umuulize lazima muangalie vile tumeshinda si ni ukweli farodhi alikuwa sande si ulikuwa sande nikaletoa katoto kwa Masai Ken kanaitwa Jonel kutoka Narok sande ule alikuwa tulikuwa na ule aliabudu kwetu sande mama ametoka all the way from Narok akasema mimi sisi tumeangalia na mahali tunajua tunaweza saidika ni hapa kwako imagine all the way from narok mtoto roho yake inakuwa kubwa zaidi halafu madaktari wa Kenya they misdiagnosed her so walikuwa wanampea zile dawa hazifai zikaribu huo moyo so hawezi fanywa operation she is being maintained na dawa kila mwezi huyo mama na hana kazi na akipata kazi ni ya kufua huyo mama uhitajika 16000 kila mwezi dawa za huyo mtoto sande wale walitazama you can go to our sande service kuangalia kwa youtube mimi nikaambia washirika wakaanza kulia kwetu huwa tunakata vitunguu sana 
nikasimamisha mtoto hawezi hata kusimama hawezi tembea kutoka hapa mpaka hapo juu ya kuhema moyo na hawezi fanywa kitu kama anaweza fanywa si nimepeleka watu wengi sana India kama anaweza fanywa anaweza nikapeleka lakini hawezi lakini mama yake anahitaji pesa nikasema mtoto awekewe kiti hapo mama yake simama hapa kwa TV na kwa Facebook zetu weka namba yake saidieni huyo mama within 10 minutes Kalonzo Musyoka walikuwa wamesoma kwetu kanisani Kalonzo akasimama na mia wa, u, wandai akasimama na mia huyo mwingine within 10 minutes or so tukapata 1.3 million sasa karibu sana mchungaji kiarie sasa saa hii tunaongea na nyinyi huyo mama anaenda kuweka ka biashara narok ili apatage dawa kwa urahisi ya huyo mtoto Munataka huyo mama aseme hajaona Mungu. Compassion is a miracle that can be seen spiritually and physically. Imagine unakuja ukiwa maskini unarudi nyumbani ukiwa milionea. It is only compassion that can do that. Alafu Mungu awasaidie muwe na kasisi ambaye hajipendi. Ukiwa na kasisi ambaye hajipendi Ah, hii kanisa yenu itakuwa a heaven, a little heaven on earth. Na muhame hapa. Amen. Watu wakiembrace compassion hawawezi toshea hapa. Sasa upende usipende, hapa lazima muhame. Amen. Compassion itawaondoa hapa. Hamu utatoshea. Si mimi nawaambia ukweli. Kanisa letu liko na miezi tisa mosisho kutoka nitoke mainstream. Na tuko na washirika 1700 sasa. Na tuko na miezi tisa. Huyu ako na miaka tatu. Isi the thing you give him. No compassion. No yuko kuheria ha ha. Compassion itawafuse muondoke hapa. Hapa mnaondoka. Start preparing for Exodus. Start preparing for Exodus. Compassion It is the only gospel italeta watu. Kabila Sasa unaona baka wa Korinto wamekaa hapa vizuri sana unazafikiria ni kanisa yao unazafikiria hata sisi tuko na viremba vile wamefanya nini wametulia. It is only compassion kwetu kanisani tuko na wa Korinto zaidi ya tatu. Yes, hata niko na kanisa liko na pastor wa Korinto. It is only compassion that can bring them here na wasikie wametoshereka. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Wachana na kizungu mingi. Ingia compassion. Wachana na kuita God God. Lord. Lord Jesus Christ. God God here No, wacha kizungu mingi. Ingia kufanya kazi kwa matendo. Tutahukumiwa kwa matendo sio kwa maneno. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. And finally, ndio nimalize twende tukafungue the Lord store. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Najua hiyo hii injili ni ngumu. Haipendwi sana lakini hatuna hatuna haja ya kupendwa sana. Haja yetu ni kuona ufalme wa mbinguni. Hmm? Na mimi nawaambiaga muache uoga. You know I'm a very I'm a very courageous man. Mimi sinaga uoga. Vile umekuja tuna face ya naga namna hiyo i was ordained in independent church na mnajua vile kuna kaanga huko amen. amen now as christians na ndio nikaambia apostle ngaruya na nikaambia mchungaji kiari hata kiari ameanza compassion niliona akipeana chakula eh yeah. <laughs> zilikuona alikuwa anapeana chakula sana kwanza niliona posta yako online Compassion Sunday nikajua imetamba hii imeenda nikajua hii imeenda eh yeah? wana niliona kiari ameweka CFF kitengela Compassion Sunday nikajua bas injili imeanza kufanya nini imeanza kutembea na watafanya watafanya compassion wapende hakuna tena injili ya kujipenda kiari hatutaendesha magari makubwa washirika wetu wakiwa na njaa Hatutabeba washirika ufala tena. Washirika hatutawabeba ufala tena. Ati mimi nikihitaji gari nikiwa kasisi ninawaletea kadi na kuita waheshimiwa. Mm. I Reverend Ben JCM Church Cordially. 
cordially invite you to buy my ministerio. <laughs> ministerio? Na nigari hayezi funguliwa uingie? <laughs> ministerio? Mimi nawaita mchango. Lakini nikitaka yako, ukitaka yako, na kuwabia ukuja tuombe. <laughs> Unahitaji gari dada? Juu jumatano, deliverance Sunday, Wednesday. Tutaomba mungu na tuamini utapata gari. Uongo. Gari ni kununuliwa. You go and buy. Sasa isipokuwa ni huyu ya mekuja, kasema atanipea kaproti kamoja huyu mzee mpie ni makovi. Unataka kuniambia kuna vile ningepiga magoti hapa nijipate kwa hiyo Atlanta Gardens. The gate pass to that garden is money. Na tuache kufanya vitu zigi na vitu komingi. Na tuodoe hii jiri tunafanya akila siku. Sasa unaza kuta njini wote hapa, tuko mwaka mpia. Mwaka mpia ni kusema huu mwaka hauna kitu. Lakini tukambia hapa muobe open your mouth and speak to the Lord. Unaza kuwa enemies. Na kuskata na arrows to the sender. Hii vitu wacheni vitu komingi. Na saizo ukisimamishwa hapo, uulizwe, sikisi, nyamaza kidogo. Who is your enemy? Eh? Sini nakuuliza, nimesikia ukisikata your enemies. Ni akina nani tutume polisi? Sababu enemy, siyo kusikata na kukil, wanatumua polisi. Umuulize, ni wagani? Nilisikia, Soleman akiomba hivyo, skata by fire, by mighty. Na ule mtu anasikata by fire, hata unaona hiyo mudomo vina itatembea, hayezi toka fire. I scatter by fire, by might, by fire. Uh, vitu zingine wachana nazo. Hati, oh, arrows, back to the center. Afu ulizwe, center ni nani? Nisisikia kwa TV, wakiyomba hivo. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. When you have Jesus Christ, protection is, is, is assured. When you have Jesus, protection is assured. Mimi zamani nikuwa naomba maombi baya sana. Ya kukas. Siku hizi nilijifunza. Whenever I open my mouth, I bless. Kidogo nige kasirishwa na kakitu kadogo. Nilikuwa naanza kukas na kuua. Wacheni kuua ene mesikira siku. Mutaua my, your uncles na cousins. Sasa uwe na unaobea enemies, mimi nakujua. Nitakuwa adu yako waje. Madui wengi wako kwenu nyumbani. Utaanza kukasi na kukili hapa. Ukaigua mama wanyone yaku ya wage dhoguli. Ukai karakara. Uka destroy. Alos back to the center. Na ligine kazi ni yaku. Rara gia maudumasio. Ukaigua nigine mweto madhi kogetari. If you open your mouth. Every person speaks what is in them. Hawa wawiri ukiwapatia microphone. Usigoje wakuhubirie. Hawa ni wanasiasa. Uyu siya metoka hapa saa hii. Ame wahubiria. Ameitisha nini? <laughs> kwa sababu hicho ndicho kilicho ndani? Yake. Kwa hivu kama mkristo, jifunze kuongea baraka, kwa sababu unaongea kile ambacho, kimeja ndani yako. Always learn to speak blessings, because from the uh, abundance of your heart, the mouth speak it. Kile ambacho kimeja ndani yako, ndicho hutoka. Kwa hivyo kama wewe umejaa baraka, anza kubariki wengine. Praise the name of the Lord. In the book of James. Fungua. In the book of James. Yon di unamaliza na yon naona masaa yetu ni mazuri sasa. James 1 verse 27. James 1. This is the reason into why I preach compassion. Because I don't just want to find myself in unknown, an unknown denomination. Unajua watu, wanajisifu na makanisa sana siku hizi. Nandiyo mimi nikasema JCM, nikanisa la watu, wote. Injiri bila hukumu. Sababu kanisa tumefika mahali, tukatosheka na watu wameokoka. Mimi yada nikuwa naambia mungu, kama watu wakiokoka wanaweza fagiriwa, wanapere kwa mahali pegine, unawekewa wenye dhambi, tena uhubirie. Hiyo ndiyo injiri ya bao inafaa. 
tumetosheka na watu wameokoka wote paka tunajuana kwa majina unakuta kuna kanisa wanajuana wote kwa sababu watu hawaokoki there is no revival because of comfort i don't want to find myself in a certain religion that is unknown the reason into why i preach compassion it is because compassion it is the only religion that jesus approved tunajizifu sana na makanisa kanisa letu ni kubwa limejenga tuko na mabasi tuko na mashule halafu unauliza mtu mmefanya hayo mambo yote what are you doing for the body of christ that is why mimi nimekuja kingdom seekers glorious that is why nilikuwa kwa cff because i am not building a religion i am building the body of jesus christ tuache kujisifu na dini right now watu wanajisifu na dini he afadhali kanisa yetu afadhali yetu afadhali yetu sisi yetu sisi yetu hakuna yesu wa kanisa yenu ati ufikiria yesu wa kanisa dogo ako amevaa kinyasa na t-shirt ya arsenal na slippers Arafu ufikiria Yesu wa kanisa kubwa analetagwa na limousine. Hii malingo mko nayo wa Kristo iise. Hakuna Yesu wenu. Ati sasa ufikiria Yesu wa kanisa ya watu wamekaa hapa watu watano na wako na hema. Ufikiria Yesu wao ako mahali akichana. Ati kwa sababu ya vile wamefinyika. Vile vile hakuna binguni yenu peke yenu. Hata pasta wenyu atembee hivi asitoe sauti na miguu na ukimsalimia hujambo mchungaji haleluya praise god hakuna binguni ya Yesu wake na kuanzia leo kama mkristo usitishwe kwa majina ya dini don't be intimidated with the name religion it is all useless the body of jesus christ is the core goal of the gospel Usitishwe na mtu kanisa letu hata wajenge gorofa kumi. hilo ni jengo Nani anasema kwa hii kanisa tuko counter haiwezi toshea hapa Hata hii madhabahu ikiwa hapa tukiachilia hii kanisa inaweza kuwa baa mzuri sana Hapa ukutange pale ni counter grasi zinaoshewa hapo Arafu huyo mlango ya kwenda ofisi washroom. Mm. Ili ni jengo tu. TV ukute zikiona mpira. Na hizi speaker uone mtu hapa, waidhaka waje ni hapa. Hapa juu. Ina mwigene wano aria, mata hudhagira karai kuhi juu na kodi kagushie na ningu thiego kom. Oh ha tori. No one can adjudge but no one will ever intrude in the body of Jesus Christ. No one will ever change the purpose of the gospel. No one will ever change the purpose of the body of Jesus Christ. Wacheni kujenga mambo na dini. Tujenge mwili wa Kristo. That is why niko kanisa aliitwa JCM. Mimi nimekuja kujenga mwili. Hili ni jengo. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Koko ukuta hizi chuma zenu zikitelemka na strippers. Wewe unaona ikiwa kanisa because of the purpose. Lakini hili ni jengo tu. Linaweza kuombolewa na watu wengine mkiondoka. Na hapa upatage wasichana wameshikilia na ni madhabahu bakas 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 hapa. Hapa. Hili linaweza badilishwa. Wacha kulinga na majengo ya dini. Wacha kulinga na vitambaa za dini. Wacha kulinga na tai na suti za dini. Kama unafaa kulinga, ulinge jinsi unavyotengeneza mwili wa Yesu. Cha kulinga na majina ya magroup za kanisa. Hizo ni za hapa duniani na kuzikwa. Itaisha kaburini. Utafika mbinguni waambia Yesu, eh uitwe hapo jenu hapo hii. Eh Jesu madhakanso. Hiyo unawacha hapa. Ate Jesu ema ede wa Girodi. Aha. Hiyo inawachwa hapa. 
tujenge mwili wa Kristo kama kuna mwili tunatumia kuvuka mto wa kifo ni mwili wa Kristo dini zitaachwa hapa kiarie wakati utakufa jina CFF litabaki hapa praise the name of the lord amen the core goal of the gospel is to build the body of Jesus Christ unajua kuna pastor unaweza ita kanisa yako akoze kukuja umuandikia hata barua kwa heshima sana Aangalie hiyo barua hivi. Naambia wazee wa kanisa siwezi enda kama huku. Harafu uniambie tutafika mbinguni. Kuna watu wataingia mbinguni wa Kristo muachwe hapo nje. Mm. We are so busy to build buildings. But we are very lazy in building the body of Jesus Christ. Kuanzia wakati niliingia hapa TV yetu imesimamisha matangazo tuoneshane kanisa ambalo sio JCM It is not about here It is about the kingdom of God It is about the body of Jesus Christ Hata nyinyi mkikaka mkisikia kukuja mnaingia basi na nguo zenu za green mnakuja mnaimba JCM Eh anakuja anawakosa Nauliza mko wapi ni building the body of Christ tuko JCM tunaiba huko leo. Anauliza sasa tutafanya nini? Mnamwambia hata wewe uko na koo. Ama uhubiri kuanzia asubuhi mpaka It is about building the body of Jesus Christ. Let us be busy building the body, not the religion. Na ndio unaona watu wakisema religion is a scam. Kwa sababu ya tabia zetu. Ni tabia zetu zinafanya watu waseme religion is a scam ni tabia zetu kwa sababu unakuta mkristo ametokea kanisa akiwa na njaa hana chakula watoto wake hawana chakula na ametoka kanisa halafu anafika kwa proti anapata mlevi anamwambia baba mwangii sasa mzuri sana sasa mzuri ndio mnatoka kanisa eh hey, baba mwangii ndio tumetoka kanisa mmehubiriwa aje eh hey. Alafu baba mwangine nilikuwa nakuuliza mimi nimekaa vibaya. Azuma kaa vibaya. Gai, uko na sida. Baka mulevi ndiye ako na roho ya huruma. Gai, uko na sida. 